You know, he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about the real hard, we are the victims. Well, I guess so, in a way. Um... I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person, because we're always on murder cases. Uh, excuse me. But, anyway, I have to go get the sacred urn back. Please, don't just ignore me! Wait, what? Who the hell? You look weird! We got... Crazy music, too. Uh... Um, who are you? I, uh... Uh... I, I, I... I'm m m m m mess the mask. Uh, okay? Hey, Nick, doesn't he look kind of, well, gangly? Uh, I'm Ron Delight, the famous Mask the Mask. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. Yeah. Okay, so you're Mask the Mask. Somehow I'm calling bullshit on this one. So, you're the Mask the Mask guy. Y yes, you bet. No, er, uh, that's wrong. You see, it's complicated. Sort of yes, and sort of no. If you know what I mean. Huh? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that it's not right, per se. You see, it's not spelled Mask the Mask, it's actually Mask Star the Mask. What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling. We know that much. D don't do that. Don't look at me like that. I don't need your pity. And a major crybaby be too. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well... I know why. It's because you stole such a priceless treasure. And now you're overwhelmed with guilt. Am I right? Priceless te treasure? That broke an old urn. Um, I have a little favor to ask. Y yes what is it? Could you go and talk to Jesse? Desi? Well, first let's talk about the sacred urn. Look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back, I really will. Uh, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. This guy is confusing the hell out of my brain. That's all I gotta say about this. Uh, Mr. Nick? I couldn't hear what he just said, especially the last part. Uh, Mr. Damas, do you think you could speak up a little? Y y yes sir, I, I will, I promise. Uh, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Mr. Damask, about the urn. Oh. Yes, the urn, right away. Uh, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, I, but I'm actually... Actually, I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me anyway. <laughs> I'm afraid of you. No, uh... Enough already. Just tell it to us straight already. Please, please don't yell at me. Huh. <sighs> Heavy breathing. I, I... I'm sorry. That urn, I... I lost it. What? What? Wait, is, so is this really Mask to Mask? This is so weird. Also, I just questioned for a minute if this was a guy or not. Is it? Maybe it's a girl. No. Guy? Uh, who cares. Lost it. What'd you just say? Did you say you lost it? Yes, er, no, um, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. W what do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know? What? You lost- you forgot our sacred urn on the train? Wait a minute. You went on a train dressed like that? N no, no, I, I- I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just lost it somewhere. I don't know where. 
This guy's story is more surreal than do than a dolly painting. Are you sure really sure this creep is masked the mask? Maya, don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. Alright, who's this Desi you wanted me to talk to? So, yeah, so who's this Desi person? Please don't talk to me about- don't talk about my wife like that. Uh, I guess she must be his wife. Heavy breathing. I I'm sorry, the truth is, it was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Uh, do you think it- you could go to my- go and visit her at my hideout? You have a wife at your hideout, just- this is so weird. I- I don't- I'm- I'm so confused right now. H hideout Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry, naturally, I meant to say my secret base. S secret base? Well, my apartment actually... Palazzo Pel... Peep? Third floor, Pel Pepe? Third floor, whatever, that's- that's a weird address. Anyway. Let's go have a look, Nick. To mess the mess hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. Probably. Nothing else to talk about? Wait, nothing else? Just double check. Okay. Nothing else. Um... Before you leave... First I want to see if I can get any more inform- Oh, let me look at this. A young man who turned himself in as Mask to Mask. Bit of a pitiful guy. Alright, I'm gonna present a couple profiles here to him. What do you think about this? Hmm, I don't really think I can help you with that. Uh, no, that's not it. Well, the thing is, I don't really know if I can say one way or not the other. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Okay, um, you know Andrews? You don't know Andrews, okay. Uh... You were pulled in by Gumshoe. Nothing on Gumshoe? <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about Mass to Mass, I guess. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always been interested in mysterious mass men. So that's why you want wanted to be... <laughs> so that's what you wanted to be when you grew up. Yes. Uh, no. Sort of, but not exactly. Do you have, like... Just, like... is He's confusing me, because he's just, like... It seems like two different people, almost. Just, like... It's, like, two thought processes of no and yes at the same time. It's really confusing for his... I never imagined I'd feel as bad as I do now about the treasures being stolen. People sure can be complicated, can't they? Okay, what about Luke? Oh, you do know him. <laughs> him! Do you know him? He claims to be arch enemy and rival. Th that person. He's not my arch enemy or my rival. Well, actually, no. Now that I think about it, in terms of arch enemy and rival, <laughs> the terms arch enemy and rival are the same thing. They are rivals. Only people who have it out for each other would disagree like this. Okay. And you don't care about talking about yourself. Alright. Now I want to look at a little bit of evidence. Gotta show him the badge, of course. What do you think about this? Hmm. Okay. Oh! Oh, I almost forgot. I really want to check this. Please, did they bring this back? Please, I beg you, game. Bring this back. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He looks nervous being this close to an alleged thief. Thank you! I love you, game! Yes! Like, there was a lack of those in the second game, if I remember correctly. They, like, the first game, they had a different one for every person that was in there, and it was awesome. And then, during the second game, it, like, never changed, and it really disappointed me. I'm so glad they brought that back. That, that is one of my favorite things. Anything else to talk about? No. Okay. Um, let's see, present that, uh... Ch -ch -ch. Oh yeah, the calling card. Oh, that's Master Mask's calling card. Pretty nice looking, huh? 
He looks so happy. I'm not very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Letters and studied hard. Well, I guess you call a thievery a type of business. Present the urn. I'm really sorry I caused so much trouble. If you're so sorry, then you shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. B but the only thing I did wrong was lose it. Uh, that's not right. I was wrong either way. I'm sure the owners of the other treasures feel the same. He, he sure seems sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? Hmm. No, I don't really care about that. Don't know anything about the statue? Okay. Well, that looks like everything. If I remember correctly, the Sacred Urn and this thing are pretty much the same... ...thing. Uh... Yeah, it's... I don't know where to go now. Um... Oh, yeah, your house. I was, th I, I was thinking for a minute, where, where am I going now? And I forgot, I totally forgot he asked me to go to his house. Um... Now that I think about it, that means you're a guy. And you have a wife. But you look like you're, like, si a 16-year-old girl or something. And you have a wife. Oh, whatever. No, I go there from here, that's good. Okay, then. Um... This is interesting. Wow, check this place out. No doubt about it, this is Mess to Mess Hideout, alright? Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Oh dear. Huh? Who are you people? Er, um, are you Desiree Delight? That's right, I'm Desiree. Ah, oh, you must be the lawyer. And the victim. Y yeah that's us. Your husband told us that you wanted us to stop by. I'm Maya Faye, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nikki Boy and Maya, huh? Why is he the only one that gets a n nickname? I guess Maya is too short to put into a nickname. I can't really tell you how great- I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, ha, <laughs> ha, you're welcome. Did she really call me Nikki Boy? Ugh. Forget about her. I want to look at the room. Look at this giant balloon over there. Oh, that's so cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow! There's no fool in you! I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick. That M on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. That's proof enough that Ron Delight is really is Mask to Mask. I'd better not tell Mina. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. Oh boy. <laughs> Just this. It looks so weird. The, this thing in the middle. The mannequin or whatever. It's Mask to Mask. There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that. Ha ha ha. I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. Ha 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 ha. I don't get it. What's this supposed to be, Nick? I don't know. It's something. A little crystal ball there or something? Huh, this thing looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I know. It's a fishbowl. Well, an upside-down one, anyway. I think it's a helmet. An alien- Oh, God. And it looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. Nick? Do you think maybe you could act like a grown-up for a little bit? Getting lectured by Maya to be more of an adult. Ah, <sighs> that's the new low. That looks like the helmet that, uh, what's her old bag had on. In the last game. Are those two different things? Huh. This thing looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I know. Oh, wait. Is that her stuff? Is that her equipment from, uh, w when she was working with the police? It looks like it. That's weird. Why is that here? Helium? Or... Nick, it's, it's a torpedo. 
It's hard to believe, but it sure looks real. Or could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. Nothing over here, okay. Oh, and piles of books. There are a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic sounding novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Wow, look at all the bookmarks and notes stuck to them. Let's see here. No, must remember this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. No, a calling card is an important part of any good thief's mo modus operandi. Oh, wow, Ron really studied his stuff. I just... Is this name really Ron? It just doesn't fit that face. How are you called Ron? That is not a Ron right there. Uh, that is not a Ron. I, re I refuse to believe it. Okay, there's a couple of uh, wigs over here. A whole bunch of stuff piled over here. Duck and cover. It's a missile. Did you know there's dynamite in missiles? But they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh, wait. They're just really well-made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Theft of the Mazarin Stone, the Great Al Albatross Strategy. Theft of the Immortal Goddess Statue, the Great Knuckle Bomber Strategy. Did the police even investigate this place? Probably not. I think I've looked at everything then. I'm assuming that the since I tried to look at the wigs, it's just part of that corner right there with all the stuff in it. Alright. Before we get started talking to you... Excuse me, but would you take a look at this? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't the faintest idea. I guess I just don't get out enough. Alright, alright, alright. Let's talk then. What about Ron? Why does he want us over here? Um, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. A bit. By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training in, at a law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. After I saw that, I thought it'd be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me, I stole that urn, he kept saying. As if it was even possible. Huh? But but are you saying he didn't? Haha, <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure and he he's, you know... Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? Uh, it's not a secret identity, there's a goddamn balloon in the corner with the, the, the goddamn symbol on it. How would you not know this? How? And why did it just stop there? I wanted to continue that conversation. God damn it. Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Yes, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think that depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Wink. Other ways? Yes, money. Money's incredibly rich, and super generous. He bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much that it makes Ron's head spin. The other day, it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about high maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Deli get all his money from? Ronnie's a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? So they get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard. I think it's my turn for my <laughs> head to spin. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm, what time did the incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to Ted Dev Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. Pulled over? Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Um, you're talking about a motorcycle, right? 
Yes, anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about 3 in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. What about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at the time of the night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. Hmm, okay, he doesn't have an alibi, that's good to know. Um, let's see, let's look at a couple profiles. Anybody I want to talk to you about? Okay. Why did you pick Phoenix? So, Nicky Boy, you're a lawyer, huh? Well, yeah. How do you like it? I bet it's so exciting. Yeah, sometimes. Actually, a little too exciting at times. Ooh, I just love a good thrill. 